have about six of our residents that are still in hospital, one that is still critically injured, there's one that refused treatment because he was a foreign national, he actually ran away, we are concerned about that, we are still calling upon the foreign nationals that need attention, whether it's shelter or medical care, to come forth. We are not looking at documentation, we are looking at the humanity crisis. The crisis that we are facing, it's not only infrastructure. As you see us with um, the faith-based organization, the pastors, the bishop, the reverends from different faiths, we are here because this is a humanity thing. There is and there are people that are broken, that have been traumatized, people that are confused, that are afraid, that really need spiritual care. The faith-based organization are not only coming here to provide prayers and counseling and spiritual care and standing with us, but they also want to get involved in how can we assist the city, how can they get, be part of um, assisting in this crisis, whether it's with supplies or necessities or wh whatever it is that people need at this time. We've been appealing for corporates that have come on board that have brought food, that have brought toiletries, that have brought clothes, that have brought sanitary pads and many other supplies, household things that we need um, for our residents to at least have some normal kind of uh, existence in the shelters and also where they are going to be placed in housing.